everybody has seen James Cameron's Aliens. And if you haven't, you've probably seen a reference from the series. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. Aliens is considered one of the best sequels of all time coming after Ridley Scott's 1979 film Alien, which is also awesome. Fast forward to the present. Prometheus is coming out this summer, and we're stoked. Now, you're probably wondering why we're talking about films that didn't even come out in the 90s. Well, it's because we're going to be reviewing the 1992 Aliens action figures today. There's no doubt that there are going to be some new figures with the release of Prometheus. We're just hoping that they look nothing like this. So stop your grinning and drop your linen because we're going back to the 90s to review the Aliens action figures. All right, so these are the 1992 Aliens action figures. They don't look as bad as you would think they look, but uh... No, actually, some of them are really, really good. Like, Hicks is one of my favorites, definitely. He actually looks like one of the Marines. But then you have other ones like Apone, but we're going to be reviewing these today um, one by one, and we're going to start with the Aliens first. The Aliens? were very well done. Some of the aliens came with actual face hugger toys and they actually fit right on the figure's face like so. Kind of brings a new meaning to the term fuck face <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> I think the aliens figures are awesome and I would give them five retractable jaws out of five. <laughs> so we're gonna probably start off with my favorite of the space marine figures. Corporal Hicks. He actually looks like one of the Space Marines, actually looks like Michael Bean in the film. My only problem with him really is that he comes with a rocket launcher. Now, I didn't, there was never a rocket launcher in Aliens anywhere. Like, I think it would have been way cooler if Hicks actually came with a pulse rifle, which he actually had. Why couldn't they give him a shotgun or something? Like, he had the shotgun in the movie, he had the pulse rifle, but uh, they gave him a rocket launcher and they gave him some weird arm brace. I have to, I have to admit, just the artwork, like, all of them have the same kind of cover, but I love fires two alienator missiles, <laughs> and then I also alienator. love- And then if you look on the back, um, all the figures have uh, a picture of an actor. In, from uh, the movie, so, from that they, time. so that you could recognize them from the movie. And they actually have a picture of Michael Bean as Hicks from the movie, and it, it looks awesome. But uh, later on in the review, you're gonna see that they couldn't quite get all of the actors, so you're gonna see some right, uh, right. unfamiliar faces. Yeah. But overall, he's an awesome figure. Uh, I give this one thumbs up. I would give him four pulse rifles out of five. Take this. All right, next is obviously uh, our heroine, a monumental figure in the aliens world from the first movie and the second movie uh, is Lieutenant Ripley. She she looks relatively like you know she does in the movie with real turbo torch action. Uh, they actually gave her a, a, a flamethrower, thankfully, an actual weapon from the movie. Mm -hmm. Unlike the uh, uh, Corporal Hicks one, the picture on the back is not at all Sigourney Weaver. It's, it, it, uh, I don't even know who that could be. <laughs> Looks like a porn star or something. <laughs> because they got Michael Bean's picture, why couldn't they get Sigourney? But who knows. Otherwise, I think it's a good figure because, you know, she's, like the main character in both movies, mm -hmm. but and they gave her her actual weapon, so I think that's what's really great about it. Oh yeah, you pretty much covered everything on Ripley that we need to talk about, and I agree, like I actually brought a weapon in from the movie, which I can appreciate a lot, because I'm very anal about that. So um, I would definitely give Ripley four Newt Head dolls out of five. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? Okay, so now we're moving on to one of the rarer figures, the Vasquez figure, and she looks awesome too. What I love most about Vasquez is that she actually comes with the pulse rifle. She's the only figure that comes with a pulse rifle from Aliens. Yeah, none of them have it, except for her. Yeah. She kind of looks like a small Mexican boy, but I guess that's what she kind of <laughs> looks like in the movie anyways. <laughs> Overall, I really like Vasquez. She's one of the great, better figures of all the Space Marines. Uh, I have to point out one thing. It's just so stupid. Her thing is a backpack missile launcher. Now if you look at the picture, one, never even happened, two, it's too big for her, she'd probably fall over it, or fly backwards when they launched, 
And three, I'm pretty sure if that was actually in the movie, the movie would have been over in like 10 minutes. <laughs> she has these giant rockets, she's just blowing everything up. Exactly. And then you have Hicks with his rocket launcher. But you know what? The fact she has a pulse rifle is really cool, and I, I think I think it's a really good figure too. Those are the best three figures so far. Yeah, I'm like gonna go with Vasquez again. I'm gonna give her four bandanas out of five. Right. Awesome. Look, man, I only need to know one thing: where they are. Go, Vasquez, kick right. ass. Anytime, anywhere. Man. Right. Hudson. What the fuck did they do to Hudson? He has a cyborg arm! Like, do you remember Hudson having a cyborg arm in the movie? I don't. Maybe this is like the Hudson figure if Bishop, like, missed in the knife game and cut off Hudson's arm, and they had to replace it with a <laughs> cyborg arm. <laughs> Hudson looks awful. Um, he comes with a weapon that looks nothing like anything from Aliens. Um, a backpack that shoots red Q-tips out of it. Dirt it's his thing. backpack torpedo, torpedo launcher. launcher. I don't know. Again, the weapons are just... As we fur as we go further along, the weapons just get so ridiculous. Yeah, they're gonna, like, start a nuclear war. Now, <laughs> now I, I think this is important to bring up. I really understand that, like, with action figures like these, they want to have variety in all the weapons. Exactly. Like, you can't have every... Fi figure having a pulse, pulse rifle, rifle like Vasquez, but like what the fuck happened to Hudson? I don't know, I, I would much rather them have weapons in the movie, and I can understand these launchers and stuff like that, but to me it's just ridiculous. In my opinion, I have to agree with you, it just, it just took an actual character from the movie and then just like completely changed it. Butchered one of the best characters as, in the movie. As you'll see as we go further along, uh, it kind of happens to almost all the characters. I'm gonna give Hudson two face huggers out of five. Fuck face. <laughs> game over, man. It's game over. Next is Drake. Now, again, Drake, it like uh, actual character. Um, he's got a picture on the back. One, not not Drake at all. He wasn't an old man looking like Clint Eastwood or something. He, okay, the, the figure looks bad. That'd be sweet if Clint Eastwood played Drake. That would have been amazing. <laughs> That's my question too, why would they make a figure of a character that dies like 10 minutes into the movie? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say, it's not 10 minutes, but in the first battle, Drake gets killed. Yeah. You might as well make all the characters. I, I, actually, I, I'd prefer a Drake figure over like a Gorman or a Burke, <laughs> now that I think about it. And then they gave him, they gave him like one of the best weapons, a smart gun, like, it's just the fact that they made him look completely different. It has the Aliens trademark logo on the front, you might as well... Try to get your figures to look exactly like how they're supposed to look. Overall, I don't really have any problems with Drake, aside from the white hair. I, I just don't get why they gave him white hair. Like, he has blonde hair in the movie. It's almost as if it's almost as if they made the Drake figure, like, after he got the acid sprayed on him from the <laughs> alien he killed. Right. Yeah, like, his hair got bleached from all the acid. Uh, other than that, I, I have no real complaints about him. He's has the smart gun. That's my favorite gun, again. Yeah, so I'm going to give Drake... Three smart guns out of five. Hey, Hicks. Man, you look just like I feel. On to... Just one of the... I think he's... What the fuck is this? This is this is supposed to be Bishop. This isn't if Bishop. If you remember Bishop, remember he was... Shit. Yeah, like, he had darker hair. Yeah, and now they've given him sunglasses and a cyborg helmet. Like, what the fuck is this? Okay, well, look at the back picture here. Usually they've been using, like, these crappy actors. They actually have a picture of Lance Hendrickson on the back, the actor who played Bishop. But they've photoshopped, terribly, I might add, they photoshopped sunglasses and this metal hat to make him look like action figure Bishop. Like, in all the characters, like, Ripley, it just says Lieutenant Ripley. And, like, Hicks, it says Corporal Hicks. On here, it says Bishop, Android. Yeah, I think they got the point across there. It's almost as if, like, the people who made these toys didn't watch the movie. They're just like, oh, Bishop's an Android. Let's make him look as, as much like an Android as possible. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I think he's one of the funniest figures because it's just... He doesn't look like him at all. Like, yeah. it's not even just like, oh, he's got white hair opposed to blonde. No, he's got fucking metal all over his face. I think Bishop's only redeeming quality really is the fact that you can take his body apart, sort of like in the movie when the, right. the queen alien rips him in half. I really think they dropped the ball on this one. I'm going to give Bishop 
One milky intestine out of five. It is impossible for me to harm or by a mission of action allow to be harmed a human being. If you don't want some. Just stay away from me, Bishop. You got that straight? I guess you don't like the cornbread either. I don't even know where the fuck to begin with Apone. He looks nothing like Apone in the movie. The, the only, picture we just showed the you. The only correlation between Apone in the movie and Apone, this action figure, is he's black. <laughs> that, that 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 pretty much sums it up. He's the only like, black character. <laughs> okay, let, let's let's start from the top down here. Okay, he's wearing Ash Ketchum's hat, so looks he's gonna go catch some Pokemon. And then <laughs> you go down a bit, and he has a shirt that says No Bugs. Like, this is Sergeant Apone we're talking about, and he's wearing a shirt that says no bugs on it. The thing like, I, the like thing how are the Marines supposed to take him seriously? <laughs> and then finally, let me let me throw in one more thing. He's wearing Forrest Gump's arm br leg brace on his arm right here. <laughs> his weapon, he has he grenade launching action. These grenades don't look like grenades. They're mega grenades. <laughs> and... They kind of look like the grenades from Gears of War. And literally, it just looks like he's whipping, like, these huge honking missiles at the aliens. <laughs> like, with his robotic arm. With his robotic arm. This is like, these figures are almost like the Michael Bay interpretation of aliens. <laughs> Everybody has explosive weapons. Oh, and he stores them on his back. Like, that's a good idea. We gotta rate him first. I'm gonna say, Apone is definitely the second worst aliens, 1992 aliens figure ever made. I'm definitely gonna give him, uh, half. I'm gonna give him half a forced gump leg out of five. Alright, sweethearts, what are you waiting for? Breakfast in bed? Another glorious day in the core. Now we come to the worst of them. O'Malley. Just simple, um, was there an O'Malley in Aliens? No. No, there wasn't. Did, was there a guy with red hair and was Irish in the movie? No. <laughs> I think that's what makes him the worst action figure, is the fact that he was not in the movie. I hate that we couldn't, that we can't take this out, because I just would love to see this thing in action, is his weapon, which is an extending capture claw. Now, if you look on the back, there's a small picture, and we'll get a close-up of it. It's an actual picture of, like, the claw against the aliens. And <laughs> it's just, what would this do? Would this crush the alien's head? Would it Would it capture it? No. O'Malley prefers peace over violence. <laughs> Imagine if O'Malley was actually in the film, that and he was, he was walking into the fucking complex with all the marines, and he had this giant claw to go catch the aliens. What would, like, what would that be like? That would just would have been stupid. I think he should just, instead of a claw, he should just come with a glass of beer and a four-leaf clover to make him even more of a stereotypical Irishman. <laughs> I'm just happy they didn't turn, they didn't give him, like, a, a cyborg claw or whatever. Why like, couldn't he be half the cyborg? If he isn't even in the movie, they could make their own character. Compared to all of these other ones, he is definitely the worst. I guess that's all we can say is fucking yeah. whatever. I'm giving O'Malley negative eight four-leaf clovers out of five. <laughs> Well, that was our Back in the 90s review on Aliens action figures. Uh, go see Prometheus. comes out June 8th. And we'll see you next time. And we're just going to go ahead and watch the uh, Aliens trilogy. But not Alien 3. It fucking sucks. Fucking hey, Alien 3! Fucking dog shit! Private O'Malley, stay to attention to waste some books. You want the pint? <laughs> <laughs> you ready to waste some bugs, O'Malley? Oh, I hope they don't get me lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to waste some bugs, O'Malley? Oh, jeez, the aliens might get my pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs>